Hey there and welcome to the Happy Hookers Closet. My name is Nina. I have recently found some very hot pink yarn in my stash. It's neon pink to be exact. Not quite sure why I purchased this, but I have about two and a half skein of this stuff, all right? I've decided that I'm going to make a freakum dress, if you guys remember what those are, uh, for a size large, extra large. And I'm going to start off by making the halter top that I do have a tutorial on uh, here already. And then I'm just going to add a skirt to it. Don't ask me how. We're going to do this together. I'm going to go through the pattern with you a little bit, you know, just a quick little pattern thing. I'm not going to go into great detail of like each stitch or anything like that. But we're going to go through this whole dress making process together today. So... Here we go with another one, guys. Starting off with a half a skein that I have here, a five millimeter hook, my scissors, and my tapestry needle to weave in my ends. I have bit large Marge right there. She actually is the size of my measurements here. So we're gonna do one for this size. It's actually gonna be for like a, a large to maybe a double XL. We'll see, I am a double XL between an XL and a double XL. So we'll see. It'll be all right. Hopefully. I am currently binging on some Walking Dead. That's why I just cleaned that. Why is there so many fingerprints? Anywho, binging on the Walking Dead. I'm on season four, episode 16. We're almost on season five. And I got my coffee, my water, and we're ready to go. Okay, so we're starting the freakum dress with a chain of 90 and I just want to show you guys it'll probably be at the waist right here and it'll go right to the middle of like right here leaving the middle of the back open and then from here we'll do six rows of just straight half double crochets and then after we do the, do the six rows of straight half double crochets, we'll start decreasing on our ends to give it that halter top, like so, like that. It'll start going in, and then we'll add our straps. <sighs> then we will connect the back from the bottom, from the bottom here, connect it, and we'll start working on our skirt from there on out. So that's the process. We just completed our six half double crochet rows. This is what we've got so far right here. Wait, there we go. So we got so far. Here's the back. Like so now we're going to start our decreasing. So what we do is we just decrease one decrease and then we do half double crochet all the way across and then the last two stitches in our the end of our row we're going to decrease on those last two stitches and then we chain one decrease in our first two uh, stitches half double crochet all the way across until we get to our last two stitches and then we'll decrease from there and then chain one and so on and so forth and that's the pattern that I do until I get to where I'm satisfied right here where the decrease will end. Alrighty, I just finished half of a skein that I had uh, winded up, wound up, and this is so far what we've got, and then let me see if I can get the back. <laughs> Here's the side. You can see how it's starting to decrease. Here's the back. Um, when we do the, the, not sleeves, what is this? The halter part. Um, it'll crisscross in the back. Um, like I said, we're doing the halter top part first and then we'll be adding the skirt later. Just so we're on the same page. But freakum dress, maybe a third of the way through, but I'm excited about it. It's a hot pink. All right, we finished the base of the crop top and I did, oh, I didn't even count. Uh, one, three, seven, wait, four, five, six, 
I did 33 rows of decreasing plus the six rows of regular half double crochets um, that we started with. So here's what we have so far of our freakum dress. We started with the halter, the halter pattern that I have. Um, I also did a single crochet around the edges to give it a cleaner edge. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna do the straps. Um, I have to go make dinner though, but this is what we have so far. I love the color that it is now. I was looking at the skeins of yarn and I was like, man, that is bright, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it now. Somebody gonna buy this, I'm sure. And I am noticing that this isn't for more of a plus size person. It's more so for like a large, like a size large, maybe an extra large might be able to fit into this, but more so for a large, I believe. I believe, I won't know until I'm done guys, but I'm loving this so far. All right, we've got the halter part of the dress finished. Here's what I did to the back. So what I wanna do I hope this, I hope I'm doing it right. So what I wanna do is I want to make a chain from here to here, and then I'll just work in half double crochet rounds all the way around. Um, I may have to do some increasing because this girl got a big booty Judy. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I guess we'll, we'll cross that path when we get there, but this is the halter top pattern that I've used. I actually have a tutorial for it. And we're just gonna add the skirt to make a dress. So, you know, let's, let's try this out. Oh, also for the straps, I chained 190. And then I just did like one of those simple little knot things. Um, it just makes it look clean. Um, so chain to 190 for both straps. All right, I shall return. Now you can't really see it because the colors are blending, but I did a chain of 25 from here all the way over, and then I connected with a slip stitch, and then I'm just going to do single crochet, or I'm sorry, half double crochets all the way around this whole thing, and just keep going around and around and around with half double crochets. That's the plan for this um, dress. All right, so far, so far, this is what we have. I don't know, I truly don't know if I'm gonna have enough to make a whole freakum dress without a nangla hanging out, but this is the back so far too. I'm digging it. I low-key kind of want to keep just this top, just like this, wear it with some black leggings or something, I don't know. Um, but it's cute. It's cute, but I, I don't know. Should I keep going? I think I'll keep going. So this is how much yarn I have left. I have this. And I have this. If I don't have enough, I'll have to go get more. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be increasing. It looks like I don't really have to. Um, I just don't know what the person that wears this is going to wear underneath it. I would hope they wear, you know, maybe some pasties and like some chonies underneath this. Because if you don't, things are going to be hanging out. But I'm digging it so far. I'll be there. Here we are on day two of the Freakum dress. I just finished another skein of yarn. I have another half skein before... I run out of this color yarn, but uh, it looks like all I'm gonna need is the half skein. This is turning into a, like a size large top, or not top, dress, I mean. So here's what it looks like from the back. So fetch. Um, I'm digging it. I love it so far. 
I think whoever wears this is going to wear it very nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish with the um, last like half skein that I have. I probably won't do too much more because it is supposed to be like a, a shorter kind of dress, but I do want to make sure that it covers the bottom. And this is obviously adjustable for somebody who is of smaller size. So I did adjust these, um, these measurements to like a size large because I did notice like the hip area was not going to fit over um, the size that I had originally. So let's just finish her up, get her done. All right. So I just completed this little freakum dress. And after I had done the halter top, I had done 31 rounds of just plain half double crochets to make the skirt. 31 rounds of plain half double crochet, Let's say it again, to make the skirt. You can do as many rounds as you feel needed to fit your size. This will probably fit like a medium large. Um, to add the little flares, I did two rounds of half double crochet increases that means every round had that means every round had an increase of a double crochet for two rounds and it gave it just that little a little extra pizzazz this is what the back looks like a little close-up view beautiful this is what it looks like i mean it's short but it's cute i had no more yarn left to make it any longer but you know whoever wears this is gonna wear it well not me you know what i'm saying but i love it i hope you do i hope that my little quick and short tutorial is helpful for you to make something like this or your own your own rendition of it I don't expect people to make exactly this, um, but I'm happy with it. So with that being said, thank you so much for joining me in my little crochet journey. You remember it's all love here at the Happy Hookers Closet. So, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, or whatever time that you're watching this. Um, Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. That's all. Peace out, guys. Bye.